Now this looks like a house spider, but it's not. And if you notice the large palps at the front, this is in fact a male spider. But what spider is it? Believe it or not, it's quite large, just like a house spider. It's not, it's, it would be not a, one of the larger house spiders, but a, a decent sized house spider. And this is the male Amorobius ferox, the ferocious Amorobius, which is the, and this is uh, one of the lace weavers, and it's one of the larger lace weavers. The female is very big, she's a huge body, she's like a jelly baby, a black jelly baby. But the male of this species, you can tell them apart, you notice the palps there, they have these white dots on them. The palps are the male, the little hands and sexual organs, but that's how you recognize the male of this species. Now, I think it is in fact the male which has the reputation, a little bit of a reputation for being a biter. I've, you don't encounter them very much, they're quite rare. I was amazed to find this it had come in through the hall door. But look, at you see the palps, the white dots, that's the giveaway. Those strange little white dots. And he's looking for a mate, so I'm going to bring him outside and put him in one of the sheds where I know in the past I found the female Amorobius ferox, the black lace weaver. Now the female, she has a, she's very similar to the window sill spider as they call it, the window lace weaver Amorobius uh, similis or Amorobius fen fenestralis. But the difference is it's a lot bigger and she, her, she has a similar pattern on her back, but it's not very striking. It wouldn't be as bold as it is in the other species. His is quite clear there, but what gives him away, apart from his size, are the two dots. It's a lovely spider though. Very snow moving, handsome, long legs though. But he's quite robust and the female is far more robust. She's almost like a little tarantula. And she'll usually live outside uh, in timber. So there you go, and that's just my finger for scale. You see, it's quite a big spider. That's my thumb, actually, not my finger, just so you know. And that's Amorobius ferox, the male. Now look at those palps, if you can. At the front, you see the white dots, that's what give it away. Just a white dot on each palp.